All right, so here we go. Pour's famous savory oatmeal. So you start off with a pot, a little bit of olive oil or butter. And then uh, this is where if you're going to add anything like veggies, you want to saute them first. So I've got some uh, mushrooms and some summer squash uh, chopped up. I like to cube them like that so they have like a meatier texture to them. Um, and then just kind of like on medium, I just, uh, or medium high, just make sure that they uh, soften a bit just so they're not crunchy. Get them uh, to about this point or however you really like it. And then uh, these beans are already cooked. They're out of the can, so you don't need to cook them. I just toss them in just to just warm them up a bit because they're right out of the fridge. Um, just, you know, give them like a couple seconds and then um, use about a quarter cup of oatmeal. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but it does expand. And I think even I, once I put it in the pan, I saw that it wasn't enough. I put a little bit more. Um, you could add it later with the water, but I like to just toast them a little bit. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but I'm also adding flax seed, um, which is another healthy thing to add. And then here I'm adding chia seeds, which um, are just more added micronutrients. And chia seeds have a lot of protein, so it fills you up. And then here I'm adding um, oat bran, which uh, gives it fiber. You don't have to do all that. I just try to make it like a real powerful uh, power meal. Uh, just stir it up a bit. Um, again, you don't have to do it this way. You can add the water, then add it. I use, this is the actual bowl I, I serve it out of or eat it out of. I fill it up with water just about there. And I use a small bowl because um, I want to make sure I don't make more than this. That's the portion size I want. And I try not to overeat. So that's why I use like a smaller, I usually use a small bowl or plate when I eat. Um, so I don't fill up the plate, which is what I'm used to. Just give it a stir, put the water in. Um, this is where I season it too. Uh, so I like to add, and these are just totally up to you what you like to add. I like to add garlic powder. Um, it gives it a nice garlic flavor without giving you like garlicky breath. Uh, absolutely you need to add some salt and some pepper um, as much as you want. That's really not a lot of salt that I added. Uh, when I ate it afterwards, I, I mean, it could use a lot more seasoning. But instead of salt, I like to use hot sauce. And another thing I love to put is cayenne pepper. And this stuff I've learned a little bit goes a long way. So I've only added about that much. I've seen people like douse it and it really spices it up. But that much that I put in right there, uh, you can just tell there's a little heat to it. So I just stir it up a bit, make sure that it gets to this consistency, which is uh, after about, I don't know, five minutes. If you're using regular oats, it's about a five minute thing. Okay, here's where I make the hole that I'm going to put the egg in. So I just want to expose a little bit of the pan so that the egg could kind of cook a little quicker right on the heat, drop it in there. Again, I only have it on about, I think like a medium to low heat. And then uh, this is just stupid stuff I do to try to get the whites to cook a little more, expose them a little to the bottom of the pan, but it really doesn't matter because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on and then the steam will cook it anyway. And I, you don't wanna overdo it with the heat. See, I've got it close to low there. And then after a couple minutes, you open it up and you see the whites are pretty cooked. It's not very firm. Uh, I like it like this. And they always say eggs, um, if they look cooked in the pan, they're going to be way overcooked on your dish. So um, I put the oatmeal over it so that even cooks it further, turn it off. And at this point, I'm ready to uh, dish up. So uh, the egg just keeps cooking and you'll see later. Um, drop it in. See, the egg's pretty cooked, but I like it still to be a little soft. I don't like it too firm. I like the yolk to be pretty runny. Um, and that's about it. And then here's where you can kind of add uh, optional toppings. Like I'll put uh, some feta cheese. I don't put cheese often. On this time, I just really want to show off. <laughs> I just want to keep it super healthy. Um, but I put tomatoes. I chop up some fresh tomatoes and then some avocado. I'll put that on top. Sometimes I'll just really like, put a drizzle of like, garlic olive oil or, or something on top and then uh, ready to eat finished product. I'll just let the music in your mind play here. And then uh, as I was eating, I want to show you like how perfect the egg is. It's just nice and runny, but uh, that's it.